All right, let's do it. Everyone put one hand on your belly and put one hand on your heart. If you need to put your phone down to do that, don't worry, you'll hear me. We're gonna take three breaths together. So trying to move both hands as you expand your stomach and your lungs. Breathe in and exhale through your mouth. Two more breaths together, inhale and exhale through your mouth. Last one, inhale and exhale. Awesome. Now, before we get started, I want everyone to do a fist to five check-in about how you're feeling right now. So fist means terrible, awful day. Uh, five means it's the best day ever, you feel great. And you know, every number in between there is an option. So think for a second, and because it's Instagram Live, no one else has to know, and just Come up with your number from fist to five. If you want to share it, you can. If you want to just know it for yourself, that's fine too. I'm at about a three and a half, which is a little hard to do with my hand, but I'm at about a three and a half personally. So everyone just find your own number, just know it. Okay, we're gonna get started with some movement. Let me get us some music. All right. So find your space and just put both arms up over your head. Take up a ton of space. It's hard to take up space these days, but let's do it. Take up that vertical space. Reach your arms out to the side. Take up as much space as you can. Open your legs really wide and reach all the way to the right and to the left. And again, right and left. Good, feet together. Drop your chin to your chest, and head roll. Sorry, music was a little loud for me. And head roll. Good, one more in this direction. And then other way, so chin to your chest, and then ear to your shoulder. Then look up at the ceiling. Other ear to your other shoulder, chin to your chest. Two more like that. It's just rolling your head. Last one. Awesome. Coming back to center, reach all the way up again. And reach all the way down, reaching for your toes or for the floor or for your shins or for your knees, whatever. And go ahead and get low, bend your knees, make a little tiny ball. And again, straighten your legs, reaching your arms all the way up, reach low, and bend your knees, and stretch your knees, and reach up high, last time like this. Reach forward, and bend your knees, and straighten your knees, and reach both arms up. Great, okay. So now that we're feeling a little bit warm, a little bit in our bodies, we're going to do a fun little activity. This comes from a Forsyth exercise. So William Forsyth is a really cool dancer, dance uh, choreographer. If you don't know about him, Google his name, he's really cool. We are going to write our names. So pretend like you had a marker on your elbow. And just write your name with your elbow. Maybe if you just wrote your name in caps, you might want to write your name in cursive. I don't really know how to write my name in cursive anymore. And maybe if you wrote your name in cursive, you want to write in all lowercase. But we're writing our name with our elbow. Okay, now try to put that marker on another body part. So we had it on our elbow. Let's put it on our hip. So you have a marker on your hip. Write your name with it. And if you write your name really quick, maybe you write your last name too. Great, if you wrote in capital letters, now write in lowercase letters with your other hip. Awesome, okay, now let's put the marker, let's put the marker on our foot. So let's say,
it's on your pinky toe, the smallest toe you got on that foot has your marker. So maybe you write your name on the floor, maybe you write your name in the air. How does it make you move while you write your name? Can you write your name behind you with the other foot? Really challenging for me to write my name backwards. Maybe you're having more success. Okay, last time we're gonna put the marker on our nose this time. So letting that nose lead the movement, writing your name. Try to write it really big. And what happens if you write it really small? Awesome, okay. So, oh, maybe a question? Oh, wonderful. Uh, okay, so now we are going to come up with some body poetry. We've all written poetry before, probably. We've all moved in our bodies before, probably. But we're going to combine the two. So we're going to do body poetry. Step one in body poetry. Well, step one is that exercise we just did. We're going to come back to that. Step two. I want you to think of one word that describes how you feel right now. And the reason this is a useful prompt, just from a mindfulness perspective, is that let's say you're having a hard day, the way you're feeling is kind of negative. If you name that, it's been shown that it'll shorten the duration of that feeling. If you're having a great day and you're feeling good and you name that, it's actually been shown that that'll increase the duration of that feeling. So no matter what, saying how we're feeling is going to be helpful. So right now we're going to say it with our body. So think of one word for how you're feeling. I am going to say connected today because I'm seeing all of you here and it's making me feel really connected to a lot of people. And then identify where in your body you feel that word. So whether your word, whatever your word is, where in your body do you feel it? So maybe it's your chest or your belly or your hip or your foot. I'm feeling my shoulder today is where I'm feeling connected for whatever reason. It's right here in this shoulder. So that's where I'm going to write my word. But I want you to use your own body part and I want you to use your own word. And then I want you to see what it feels like to write that word three different ways. So options to choose from. You can choose to write it big. You can choose to write it little. You can choose to write it in cursive or in caps or behind you or in front of you. For now, just write it one time with your body. So we'll start when we get a new song. I wonder what it's gonna be. Let's see. All right, we've got some new music. Let's write our word. I'm gonna use my shoulder to write the word connected. You are invited to use any body part to write whatever one word you're feeling right now. Try to write it three different ways in a row. Great, if you are sitting and watching me write your word, now's your time to use your body to write your word. We're gonna do it two more times. Write your word two more new ways. Maybe small. Maybe big, maybe cursive, maybe capitals. Maybe switching body parts. So I'm gonna to switch to my hip. Awesome. I'm trusting that you're all doing this at home, too, and not just letting me look crazy doing this. Okay, so we did it three ways. Now we're going to add one more layer to our dance that we're creating. So we have one word, one body part, three ways of writing it, last ingredient for our little concoction that we're making is to move it in space. So depending on how much space you have, you might want to move across the floor or around the room. If you've just got a little space, you might just want to move in a circle with it. Yeah? Or you can move from high to low. Figure out what, what you want to do today, what matches your word, what matches your space, what matches your body part that you're feeling that word in. So again, I'm going to give those instructions one more time. 
This is our last time with this activity. So we're going to say one word with our bodies. We're going to say one word of how we're feeling. We'll spell that by writing with our body part where we feel that feeling. We're going to write it three different ways. Maybe big, maybe small, maybe cursive, maybe caps. And we're going to use the space in at least two different ways. So levels, circles, directions, get creative. Let's do it. Ready? Find your word, find your body part. Here we go. Keep moving. Maybe changing body parts. Last time, find a new body part, find a new way to write. Good, find a landing. Whew, maybe you moved a lot and you're a little out of breath like I am. That's just fine. Reach both arms up. Take a breath in and breathe out. Reach all the way down. Maybe touch your knees, maybe your shins, maybe the floor. Bend your knees. Good, straighten your knees. And reach both arms all the way up. And exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up. Same thing, one more time. Exhale, reaching forward. Bend your knees. Straighten your knees. Inhale, both arms up. Hands down. Good, going back to that head roll we did earlier. Chin to your chest, think about holding a tiny little orange or clementine there ear to your shoulder, look up at the ceiling, other ear, chin to your chest, and other way, ear to shoulder, and looking up, other ear, and chin down, awesome, one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart, three breaths, inhale, exhale, Inhale, and exhale. Last time, inhale, and exhale. Okay, now, last thing we're doing, fist to five, just like we did at the very beginning. How are you feeling right now? So fist, I apologize, it just got very loud here. Fist means you're feeling really at the poor end of the spectrum, it's a bad day. Five means it's the best day ever. Just notice how you're feeling on that scale from fist or zero to five. So I'm at about a four right now. And just notice if that's changed from when we started. Maybe it hasn't, maybe it has. Notice which direction it's changed in. And I invite you to keep experimenting with that idea of body poetry. How can we use our body to write our feelings? If anyone has any questions, go ahead and throw them into the comments. If not, thank you so much for spending time with us today. We'll have some new material coming out soon, uh, a pre-recorded video so you can watch it whenever. You don't have to join us live.